Coach Goggins has not missed the top 10 this season. And she sends it straight down the middle. Three, six, and 10. As the feature card players come through, we'll, perhaps we'll see some of those tougher birdies. Do you think it's better to take this time off as a player or to be competing at a tournament before Worlds? Oh, I think that's very individual. Um, <laughs> at my age, it's good to take the time off. <laughs> There it is, Owen Scoggins. Knocking it down from outside 40 feet. Welcome back. We are at the tee of eight with Owen Scoggins. That is exceptional. This is a very hard line to hit. The tee shot is much harder than it looks. Scoggins, second shot on the eighth. Yes. I've, I've never Ow. seen anybody that far down the fairway <laughs> in two on hole eight. That was a, an amazing upshot. She's going to have a tap-in eagle. I was just double-checking to make sure that wasn't her third shot. Look at this line from Scoggins. I mean, perfectly navigating the fairway. And then getting that roll at the end as well. And it slides to about 25 feet. Here's Scoggins for Eagle. Yes, and she's wow. got a share of the lead. What a well-played hole from Owen Scoggins. Getting four strokes on Holland. But as Raven, we saw Ravens was starting to turn to the right. If you can get farther down that fairway on the right-hand side, it does make the next shot a little bit easier. That is fantastic. Oh, that a great tee shot. Can she capitalize? Stuck in the tree. There it is. And that's going to be 15 feet. Oh, number two on tour in circle one putting, 82%, just behind Silva Saarinen at 84%. And that is a great birdie for Owen. She is now back in a tie for the lead. Oh, and that trickles down into the OB. your own lamenting how close she was to being safe and this is a hole where the bounces make a big difference nice par save for Scoggins still good spirits for own but that's a disappointing miss after a tough hole. Hey, that's so embarrassed. No one's is going to drop back to two under. So there is your leaderboard after round number one. Kind of a tumultuous finish with some successes and some failures. A lot of danger on the finishing holes in this course. Tight gap to hit. Well done. Scoggins for a birdie to get within two shots of the lead. And she's in. Solo second now for the birthday girl, Own Scoggins. Well, Own's got a fan as this trickles perhaps helpfully towards the basket. 
That's in own range. Own oh, hits it from 40. Dead level with the basket after the trickle roll off the tee shot and confident flat into the chains. It's had a bit of a trouble this year, so it's nice to see her name near the top again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Scoggins. Dead center. Excellent. Scoggins has been lacing gaps like this all weekend. Yeah. And giving the basket a scare. Inside the circle for Scoggins with some trees to deal with. Birdies on four and five. Stretching out to try to get a third here on the seventh. You bet. It stayed home on the back side. One under on the day. The rolls today for Owen are... Another very good roll <laughs> I mean, for Owen, yes. There's she... a little birthday magic going on. <laughs> Scoggins got the eagle here yesterday. Can she do it again? Probably not. She's going to be six shots behind Owen Scoggins. So just like that, through hole eight, Owen Scoggins, after tying the lead, taking a one-stroke lead, now has a five-stroke lead. What a sequence. Well, there are a lot of holes out here where there can be this drastic score separation. Just above the pin, Scoggins will be putting to get to five under on the round. Why doubt the dog? She's on the green, a chance to save par. What a shot from underneath the branches. After a great day on the green yesterday, Own air balls it as well. Wow. Own Scoggins takes the bogey. She will finish at five down with a three shot lead over Deanne Carey. And she will have that lead going into Sunday. Happy birthday to and a little happy birthday happy for Owen Scoggins here, 43 years old today. Who's got the cake? Juliana, that was that was a tough round to watch. I think I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Own Scoggins, though, really put together the most consistent round, and that's why she's got a three-shot lead going into tomorrow. And Own puts it inside the circle. Yeah, it's the first time today that we've really felt any wind at all, and Owen just backed off of it a little bit because it started gusting. It's a little bit of headwind right to left, so the, the backhand hyzer kind of pushes toward the water. Can Owen extend the lead? You bet. Owen Scoggins, another birdie to get to nine under par. That's three in a row. Gets around the corner and way up the fairway. Clean look at the basket, although a little bit pinched off perhaps by these trees. It's not a problem. Oh, and Scoggins is on fire.
Oh, test that left side. Puts it inside the circle. Own. Yes. Six down on the day. A six-shot lead over Natalie Ryan. Puts herself just outside of circle one. Natalie will be putting for birdie. So good from Own. And here's Own for birdie. Eight down on the day. Seven shot lead once again. It will be Scoggins. That is a common landing zone. Then Earlier this year, taking down the open at Austin. Wants it to sneak yeah. through. Well, she's going to have a look. Own winning on remarkably different courses. Yeah, you can run it if you want. Not going to run it, just going to lay it up. But the star of the show is Own Scoggins, her third Pro Tour victory. Scoggins, yes. you turned 43 years old this weekend, yes. and you just won an Elite Series event. How does it feel? Uh, man, amazing. Give me some beer, come on. <laughs> no, I feel, thank you. I feel great. Um, what a celebrate my birthday, you know. Um, it's just, it's, I feel so blessing, uh, blessing, and just over the moon. Um, God, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. I might just go crazy tonight. <laughs> I have been second place two years in a row. Wow. If I second place this year will be three years in a row. I said, "On, oh, are, are you tired of second place yet?" <laughs> I was like, "Come on, man! You need to do something, you know." Um, and and I feel good because uh, last week at um, uh, what's that, um, Leston, yeah. I was like, "Man, you know the court is very nice, but it's not suit my game." I know like this one, I have a chance, and that's why I'm very ex exciting, and it does so. Yeah. I can look at the score, it's not affect me. I just want to know what, uh, who is close to me, if I need to lay up or do I have to make aggressive here and there. Um, you know, but of course, even that, I have like four or five stroke lead. I'm still nervous, you know, I still like, make a dumb mistake out there and I shake my head, I'm like, wow, what are you doing? But you know, I always forgive myself and move on. Um, yeah, um, the route today would just um, go with uh, the one, I, uh, uh, what, what my plan, yeah. All right, guys, you heard it from your champion, Owen Scoggins. Congratulations. What is up, everyone? Thanks for watching today. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the Disc Golf Pro Tour YouTube channel. And also, stay tuned to the Disc Golf Network. We're bringing you live coverage all season long.